Scott. Now Aslani, linking up well with Bronze. And here is Aslani again. And Manchester City taking early control here. Paris, Corbaz, that's neatly done. Here's Nikita Paris. And that's a disappointing end to a fine move. And Nikita Paris will be disappointed not to have at least hit the target from there. Bronze. Aslani's given room to turn, and that could be dangerous for Birmingham. Here is Bronze again, an inviting cross, and Paris unable to supply the finish again. Lucy Bronze given far too much room, and Jess Carter may have just done enough to put Paris off. And Manchester City dominant in the early stages. Here is Aslani again. And the cross will come all the way through towards Demi Stokes. And Mannion with a very firm challenge. And now Birmingham look to turn defence into attack. And here is the youngster, Ali Brazil. She's done well to Rob McManus. And now Wellings. And the ball never quite sat down for her. But that's a promising moment for Birmingham. And the 16-year-old Ellie Brazil heavily involved in the attack. And Charlie Wellings just unable to provide the finish. It was goalless here last season. One of the results which really dented City's title challenge. And here is Carter for Birmingham. And now Mel Lawley producing a fine save from Karen Bardsley. He was able to gather at the second attempt. And David Parker's side will gain real encouragement from this spell. Carter winding up the long throw. And it's eventually gone behind off BT for a corner. And David Parker's side more than matching Manchester City at the moment. Joe Potter with the corner, and Bardsley was flapping. And there's appeals for handball there from Birmingham. Jill Scott was saying the ball seemed to strike her on the chest. But when you see it again, her hands were out. And Manchester City are finding themselves in a real contest here. They're having to work very hard to try and prize an opening. Here is Corbos. And now Stokes. Initially beyond Mannion and Carter. The back heel from Scott. Paris off the woodwork, but Corbos finds the back of the net. And Manchester City finally have the lead. Daphne Corbos with her first of the season. And it was a very clever touch from Jill Scott to create the original chance for Nikita Paris. And then real composure from Daphne Corboz. And all of Birmingham's hard work early on may now count for nothing. Bronze. City will now get the free kick for the challenge on Jane Ross, who's been in fine goal-scoring form recently. Aslani's delivery, and it's Beatty's header, just drifting wide, and Nick Cushing will want the second goal here. And Beatty not too far away. Horton. Bronze again, Paris, that's nicely done, looking for Aslani, but Paris was caught, and the original challenge has led to a Manchester City free kick. And Birmingham are beginning to look a bit weary. The challenge from Mannion. It's Steph Horton, and it's a fine save from Sophie Bagley. 
And Steph Horton was 28 years of age yesterday. And she almost celebrated her birthday in fine style. Well, Birmingham were set up to counter-attack. But now they need to push forward in the closing stages. And they could be caught out at the other end. Here is Corboz. Just holding off Carter. And Paris is away from the challenge of Harrop. It's still Nikita Paris looking for Ross. And that settles it. Three successive wins to start the season for Manchester City. Three clean sheets as well. Jane Ross with her fourth goal in four games. But on the early evidence, this could turn out to be a difficult campaign for Birmingham.